Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Another day, another video about the Xiaomi Redmi 4A. Today we're gonna have a look at a HTC based ROM, which is HTC Sense ROM. Now the base on this particular ROM is Lineage OS 14.1, which is based on Android 7 Nougat. Now my experience has been, you know, a little mixed with this particular ROM because this is the very, very first build, and uh, there are a few videos coming up for the Redmi 4A. There is Resurrection Remix based on Android 8.1. There is Lineage OS 15.1 review based on Android 8.1. So all of you who've been telling me that this is a fake video, this ROM is not ported, go check XDA because it is ported and it is working fine and right now it is very very stable. So wait for those videos, there are a lot of Redmi Note 5 Pro videos coming up as well and we are buying the OnePlus 6 soon as well. So that's about the future plans for now let's get going with this video and before we begin as usual if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a brand new video and here's a card to our latest giveaway in which you stand a chance to win a brand new redmi note 5 pro which has an unlocked bootloader if we make it to 10,000 subscribers apart from this if motorcycles are your thing and you know you like travel diaries and stuff like that here's a card to my second channel that is kratos 390 Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's begin. All right, guys. So welcome to the channel. And today we're going to talk about the install and preview of HTC Sense ROM as discussed in the intro. And this is based on Android 7 Nougat, of course. This is not on Android 8.1 Oreo. Nonetheless, usual set of disclaimers, you need to have at least 50% battery, make sure your data is backed up, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and TWRP installed. The link for the files is mentioned in the description, you need to copy them to the internal storage of your phone's memory. Now, once we have everything done, and if you have any trouble doing that, here's a video explaining you how to unlock the bootloader on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4, Note 5, Redmi 4A, any Xiaomi device basically. And here's a card to the video which will teach you how to install TWRP on your phone. So if you're new to the 4A, go ahead and follow those videos and also give it a like if it really helped you. So without further ado, let's begin with the process. As always, the first thing that we will do is go to wipe and swipe to factory reset. After that, we will go to install and we will look for HTC Sense ROM. This is the one swipe to flash now I don't really know what are the bugs here this is by a developer that I personally know and he just had uh, his name is Aryan as mentioned in the installation notes he just had uh, you know sent me this particular link so I thought that you might as well give it a try and uh, this is ba based on Android Nougat now there are some things that are written here some pre-built features are there like new boot logo fast boot logo sound mods such as Dolby hi-fi sound mod added Xiaomi dose for Nougat dose management, removed useless bloatware, that's good for a small device, has March patch, okay, that's not bad, voice over LT is working and to use Google services, install Google apps and that is exactly what we are going to do. So the installation will take roughly five to seven minutes, so wait for the installation to complete. <laughs> All right, so looks like the ROM is installed and now we're going to go ahead and install Google Apps here. So open G Apps. You can choose Pico or Nano. I normally choose Pico because that is the smallest package that we have and it doesn't take a lot of space. And this device that I'm using here has 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Now, what I have been informed by the developer is that the first boot may take up to 5 to 10 minutes. So that is the case most of the time with MIUI based ROMs and some custom ROMs for MIUI as well. So after flashing this particular ROM, if you have any issues booting up and stuff, please don't panic. Please don't worry. Just leave the phone alone. It will definitely boot. All right, so looks like the ROM is installed. We will wipe cache in Dalvik as always. 
and let's reboot system do not install so yeah the first boot will take and that's the splash screen itself so that's a HTC one splash screen which is good to see on a Xiaomi device uh, reminds me of old days I used to love HTC back in the day and it used to be one of the best phones in the market it's sad to see the state of HTC as it is today now remember you might see a blank screen like this for at least five to ten minutes that doesn't mean the phone is in a boot loop or is there any other problem just wait I'll get back to you once the phone is booted up all right guys so it looks like the ROM has booted up and as you know I always believe in giving you a unbiased install and preview or review of any ROM that I'm trying now I'll be honest here the moment the ROM booted up I received two or three different force closures so not really happy about that now this may be a first build for him so that might be something normal but I don't like force closure, especially when it is a custom or a stock ROM. Now what I do see here is the HTC Sense launcher with HTC Blink Feed. And I do see that there are a lot of HTC apps which are themed like HTC or you know they are basic HTC apps as well. Now to put it into perspective, this is basically a Lineage OS based on Android 7.1.2 which is skinned or themed to look like HTC ROMs. Now, the only thing that I didn't like here is that if you're making a sense ROM, why not port the framework and make the status bar and other aspects of this particular phone look like a HTC phone. Even the dialer for that matter is, uh, you know, a stock Lineage OS dialer. So not really that great. I mean, if, uh, it's just the launcher I might as well go with lineage OS and uh, maybe install a HTC launcher and a few apps here and there that is what my first impressions are about this ROM and uh, to check other things like if you swipe to the left instead of Google now you get HTC blink feed so that is good the HTC launcher itself is pretty pretty smooth you have file manager HTC messages and stuff like that so all those things are definitely there but what I didn't like is that uh, it's it, this ROM basically I know he might have put a lot of hard work to you know make this ROM boot and make this ROM work or this might be just the first version but that is what I'm here for to give you a hands-on first experience right so yeah the camera works it's basically footage camera which comes in all lineage builds for this particular device as you can see and apart from that uh, I don't see anything else uh, let's check if voice over LT is working I'm pretty sure it would be working because there's no reason for it to be broken yeah so voice over LT is working hotspot and everything else is working if you want a ROM which basically has lineage OS installed with a few HTC apps and a few look of HTC on your phone you can definitely go ahead and try this ROM I will be linking the download URL in the description and open Google Apps can be downloaded from open G apps so yeah that was the install and preview and uh, a very very quick first look at HTC sense ROM for the redmi 4a my impressions you can definitely give it a try it's not deal breaker but then again it's more or less lineage OS 15 is what I would like to say and guys if you like this video like share and subscribe and stay tuned because there's a lot of action coming up on this particular channel thank you for your time guys nice talking to you goodbye take care